life. Adventure time with Pula Bao. She's gonna hear me breathing heavily in this video. <laughs> Thank you, Jasmine. Hey! High five! <laughs> <laughs> This one turned out so cute! Oh my god. I'm feeling so happy. I'm literally like shaking with excitement starting this vlog off by sharing with you guys my glaze test results I was so nervous. I didn't know what would happen Honestly, because this was my first time Mixing my own glazes and they turned out so good after 13 that I tested nine of them. I really love I think I should just make larger batches of them and yeah i know in my last video i said i wasn't ready to make bigger batches of my own glaze yet but honestly honestly for these i should just go ahead with it because they turned out so good these three are definitely my favorites they turned out so beautiful and the raspberry one so pretty this white turned out perfect it looks beautiful on the speckled clay i'm literally so relieved i was extremely stressed out by how this was going to turn out <sighs> there's so many factors that go into glaze making and how the glazes turn out such as where it's placed in the kiln how hot the kiln is running the program that it's running on what it's placed next to etc there's just so much stuff that goes into it and i'm so excited to test more what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna record all of these recipes. I have them all on the lids of my glaze tests, along with any other observations that I made, such as my firing temperature, all into my notion, so that I can have an organized space for everything.
Good afternoon. I kind of fudged up my sleeping schedule a little bit. Got hot pot yesterday, came home, took a nice long nap, and you know how the rest goes. It's fine, I'll get back on schedule. Anyways, I wanted to sit down and chat with you guys for a moment. I did a lot of processing the past month, and I've come to the conclusion that I'm burnt out from tattooing, which makes me honestly really sad. I think that I was just so passionate and so, so consumed by it that tattooing became my life for the past few years. And even when I told myself that I was tired, I needed a break, those breaks were never really fully breaks because during them, I would always be drawing, planning tattoo designs. And that's not really how I want to live life. So, a few days ago, I put up a story on my Instagram subleasing my tattoo station and I am so so grateful that someone actually reached out to me. She's gonna be in the studio for the next two-ish months and if everything works out, she might come back. Honestly, this takes off so much financial stress for me. I guess at this current moment, I just feel so much more grounded and at peace with myself. I have my last tattoo appointment of the year this week and after that, I'm just gonna take the time to explore my creativity and I'm sure that in a few months, I'll feel so much better about tattooing and feel excited about it again. Those are just some of the thoughts that I have in my head right now. It's not even five yet and it's already so dark outside. It is time to unload my second glaze firing. Yeah! <gasps> Ooh, this one came out so cute. Success! I'm so happy with how everything turned out. It looks beautiful. Was testing my underglaze and transparent gloss glaze on these, I think that they would make perfect brush holders. There are some air bubbles in this. It might be because there was dust on these or maybe my cooling schedule. I don't know. I'm going to continue testing it out. gonna head over to the tattoo studio to eat my lunch. I made salmon fried rice. There's some more glazing and I thought I would have enough energy to continue painting i just did an underpainting earlier but i'm really tired i think i want to go home <laughs> the sun setting is so beautiful i love how much light the studio gets do you guys see miso he's right he's right there had a bit of a slow morning today. I'm trying not to feel too guilty because I did have a lot of tasks that I planned out for myself. We're still gonna do them though, you and me. Let's do this.
This is my fourth time trying to call this oral surgeon place. Every time I call, they're somehow closed. Press the pound key to end recording. It's so cold. My hands are freezing. Look what I'm doing. Oh wait, let me. Uh, I did this tattoo back in July. It's December now. I have, I don't have an explanation for that. <sighs> Once the weather starts getting colder, my immune system goes like. I got sick last week. Was miserable for a bit. Got better. And I feel like my body is telling me right now that it's about to get sick if I don't rest a bit. And you know how I can tell? Really funny actually because I got lip fillers over a year ago and every time my immune system is low, my body starts to reject it. And today, this upper lip is really, like it just gets really hard, the filler in it. Which is so strange because it's been over a year so i feel like i should have like decreased a little bit i don't know i maybe i should get that checked out but as i was saying i can tell by my by my lip fillers i guess and my body that i need to rest for a moment i think i'm not gonna go into studio tomorrow like i planned i think i'm gonna stay home and edit this vlog that you guys are watching right now Try the bra. Okay, so this is what my dashboard looks like. Do you want a dashboard like this? It's been a little hard to not feel guilty about not going into studio tomorrow. Sometimes I tend to have a bit of a negative outlook towards things. Um, cause currently in my head, I'm like, well, shit, if I don't go tomorrow, that means that I won't be able to complete X amount of things that need to get done. But if I think about it a bit more positively this week, I did a lot of glazing, I fired, I unloaded, I cleaned, I reclaimed. And because I am not going in tomorrow, that means I have time for editing and then I'll be excited to go into studio on Thursday. I'm also going to be helping Annabelle do a glaze firing in my kiln, which I'm excited about. And on Friday, I have a tattoo appointment, which I'm also excited about. Can't tell if what I just said was to make myself feel better, if I'm just being a bit delusional. This is kind of cute. A little bit frustrated, a little bit sad right now. I took these out of the kiln today. This is what would have been my noodle bowl, except... I tried a different firing schedule this time and there's a lot of blisters in here which means that I can't use it for food. <sighs> Trial and error, I guess. Um, I'm so sad. I was so excited. I had this vision of me putting my noodles into this bowl, which isn't gonna happen. I'm just gonna have to make another one. Look at how cute it is. And I spent such a long time glazing this too. Not too sure if it's because I put on the glaze too thick or something else. For my next glaze firing, I'm gonna test out a different schedule, which is supposed to help prevent blisters. Just some troubleshooting things to do. Everything else came out fine though, like this plate. She's so cute. The sculptural vase also came out really cute. Nothing is wrong with her. <sighs> I think for the future, I should just set lower expectations. That way, when I open the kiln and unload another glaze firing, 
I'll be surprised. It's like our donuts match our oh. style. Okay. And like, yeah. too light. <laughs> Last night, I wrapped up all my ceramic pieces, labeled them, dropped them off this morning, and now I'm heading into the city to grab coffee with a friend. Came back to Seo on Sunday just to vibe and to pick up my pieces. It's really amazing and so inspiring to see so many creatives come together. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I will see you soon. Bye!